hey fam welcome back to the channel thank you so much for being here i watch you as you dry do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do so we're about to go into the walmart and see what's going on in the store do a store walk through see if the shelves have been stocked back up do they still have limits on their chicken breasts or not um i think the last time i was in this particular walmart they had taken the limits off so i want to make sure that they're still off and also maybe pick up a couple of items while i'm in there but i wanted to say something to you guys for one i want to thank you all who participated in that 40k giveaway but i want you to know that i would never ask you to send me anything like money or whatever if i'm doing a giveaway i'm giving to you because i want to okay i noticed and i was alerted to the fact that there were a few scammers trying to get you guys to either go to a whatsapp or somewhere else in a telegram and send them whatever that would never happen. Do not do that. Do not give away your money like that. So with that being said, I also want to say social media is, you got to deal with the good and the bad. That part of it is the bad part. And also another bad part of it is you can never please everyone. Either you're helping everyone out and showing what is happening in the world or you're doing doom and gloom or you're motivating in that way and showing ways that you can better be self-reliant or you're not doing enough of it so that is the thing that i'm getting you know in the comments and i want you guys to know i am only human i am only one person okay i don't have a machine behind me helping me do these videos and bring content to you guys and show you what's happening out here in the stores to take you on my journey with um, being more self-reliant. It's just me. So that being said, if you're not getting the content that you need or you feel is too much doom and gloom on here, you do not have to watch that part of my channel. I have plenty of motivational things on my channel helping you. And I try to always give a little bit of encouragement, even when I'm doing the store walkthroughs and showing how bad the stores look, I'm still being positive in it. I'm not trying to see the glass as half full. I mean, half empty. I'm trying to see it as half full. That is my mentality because you have time until you don't have any more time to stock up on food. So let's go into the store, you guys. Let's be kind to one another in the comments. Let's um, continue to give tips and ideas because you are helping so many. You are even helping me, you know, with things that I haven't even thought about doing. So again, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. If you are new, welcome to the channel. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that red button. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload a video. I usually have a set time around 5 o'clock I will upload. But if it's a busy news day, I do upload more than that. So you don't want to miss out on that. And feel free to check out some of my canning videos as I'm taking you on the journey as I'm getting learning the process and getting it down and just stocking up my pantry um and share the videos out leave a like and comment down below so let's go into the store remember to prep today so you're prepared for tomorrow pray plan and prep and i love you but god truly loves you more but first you need to love yourself so you'll be able to give god's love to someone else Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy's Carolina Homestead. So you have three pounds, this small bag of chicken wing sections for 16 dollars 
So y'all, I went into the Walmart and that store looked really good. The only area that did not look great still is the baby formula. They still have a lot of empty spaces in that area. And then um, I can see that they've moved certain uh, drinks to a different area to fill a refrigerated section. But other than that, they looked really good. They did not have any limits on any food in there. Now, the price of their meat was a bit high, and that could be one reason why they had a lot of meat products still on the shelf, because the cheaper stuff I noticed was gone. So I wanna get back into what I was talking about at the beginning of the video before we go into all this. I think that what we say has an effect on people, whether we believe it does or not. Words are powerful and sometimes people can give you a compliment but give you a double-handed compliment like oh i love your channel but oh you're 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 doing too much doom and gloom can you do a little bit more of this a little bit more of that i encourage anybody to start them a youtube channel and put the content out that you want out i think i do a, a even kill of 50 50 on and I don't consider it doom and gloom. I consider it life. It's reality. It's what is happening right now today. Some stores are fully stocked and some stores are not. And that's what I'm showing you. And when I'm saying prepare and prep and this could happen or that could happen, those are my opinions on what I see happening out in the world. And yes, those things can happen. The worst can happen. Emergencies will pop up. You may have a boil water advisory. You may have a flood alert. You may have all these different things that happen. That's not doom and gloom. That is life. And I know sometimes it's difficult for people to deal with the life that we are living right now because it's not one that we've seen before. We've seen remnants of it in history, but we haven't lived it. And now we're starting to live those things that maybe our elders, our grandparents lived. And it's a little overwhelming. And I get that. So when you get overwhelmed, turn off your devices. Turn off the news. Because one, they ain't telling you all that you need to know to help you survive what's going on. And turn off your phones. Take that time to yourself regenerate your mind regenerate your heart okay if we want god's blessings to flow down upon us we need to mind the words that we speak if you want his blessings to come through you then you need to watch what you bring out of your mouth words have effects words bring life words bring death so guys, let's stop complaining about the small things because we have so many bigger fish to fry. We have so much to do and what feels like so little time to do it. But like I said before, you have time, all the time in the world until you don't have any time left. So get out there today, especially in this preparedness month and get something done that benefits you, benefits your family. Complaining does not help your family. It doesn't. It pushes you further backwards. It lets you, uh, uh, it brings depression upon you when you start complaining. When I first got married, that was something that I did all the time, complain about this, complain about that, never saw the positive in whatever happened. My husband was totally opposite of that. But that depends on how you grew up. If all you saw was hardship and struggle, it's really difficult to see the positive in things and saying, well, this is gonna happen for the good and 
Because if you're used to seeing bad things happen and you don't wish for good things to happen, then you're not disappointed when it doesn't happen. You have no one to blame but yourself if, if an emergency hits and you don't have what you need at your home and you can't go to those stores, stores are closed again like in 2020. Everything shut down. Don't say that that can't happen. And this is not doom and gloom. This is life. It can happen. It has, it has happened. It happened to us in 2020, did it not? We didn't think it would happen then. We were living our lives. And a lot of us now are still living our lives. And I encourage you to live it because you only have one life. But I also encourage you in the process of living your life, your best life, stock up for your family. So if that emergency happens, you can still live your best life in your house. You don't have to go out where it's probably fighting and riots in the street because people don't have food to feed their families. So again, take a step back if that's what you need to do. My channel is still here as long as YouTube is running. Other people's channels are still there. You have to be good to yourself. You have to desensitize yourself at times because I do. There's no way I could just do this 24 seven and not take time to get in meditation, to get in prayer to speak favor upon myself and my family and good blessings. There's no way I could do this. I can't see positive things. I can't see the glass full or half full if I don't take time for myself. So I hope that that helps you if you are having that struggle because everywhere you turn, flipping this channel, that channel, whether it's on the news, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. I don't even do Facebook anymore. I barely do Instagram. Every now and then I post on there. I'm busy living my life. And a part of my life now is preparing. Being prepared, staying ready so I don't have to get ready when something happens. That's what happened to me in 2020. I wasn't, fully I wasn't fully prepared. I had to get ready. I wasn't all the way there. I wasn't all the way ready. I wasn't stocking up like I should. And when those stores shut down, it was difficult. When they opened back up and they had lines, you had to wait in the lines. You got to stand this far away from, from this person and that person. Only this many allowed in the store at one time. Do y'all remember that? That could happen again. We could have another emergency when it comes to something like COVID-19, Omicron, whatever, monkeypox. What's the next one? That is why I'm doing these videos and I'm going to continue to do them. So if you feel like it's doom and gloom, click off of it. Go watch one of my canon videos. Go watch one of my motivational videos. But as long as things are happening, I'm going to show them to you. As long as things are happening, I'm going to talk about it. And that's just all I have to say on that. So this store was not stocked up a lot. You can tell because they spread things out. When they have one item and they spread it out to make it look like it's multiple of them, that lets you know that they don't have that stocked in the store not even in the back of the store and then when i got over to the sugar as you can see that is the only bit of sugar there so all they have is one bag of sugar left they do have flour for 212 sugar is 275 and that's a four pound bag and it's one left, but probably it looks like it's open, so that's why it's left. This is all the oil that they have right here. This is their chicken area, poultry. They still have limits on their chicken breasts of two. You get four in here for $12.62. 
$2.48 a pound and they do have plenty of water.